Heal neuropathy in three months with benfotiamine, alpha lipoic acid, and more. Want to fix neuropathy naturally with these few vitamins? Whoops. Well, sounds too good to be true, but hear me out because you will not hear these from your doctor. Let's explore the neuropathy quickly here. Most cells keep glucose levels normal. Uh, try to at least, right? But the endothelial cells lining your arteries and capillaries, they are less self-regulatory. They accumulate glucose and they cannot digest them. But that causes the intermediate glucose breakdown products, activating the metabolic pathways linked to diabetic problems. Now, what happens if sun melts down the endothelial cells like it does to asphalt? Well, everyone will suffer from shortages, right? So your body is no different. If cells lining your arteries, which resemble your highways or normal streets are broken down, your nerves, your kidneys, your eyes, they are all will suffer. Again, dangerous glucose breakdown intermediates, like then the glucose is not, is not metabolized correctly, that will end up in your eyes, your kidneys, your extremities. And incorrect glucose metabolism can cause the blindness and all the other kidney damages and the renal failure, as you know, the vascular disease, neuropathy, you name it. You may end up with amputation sometimes. Now, benfetamine, the fat-soluble version of B1, helps avoid diabetes complications. It's simple. Benfetamine is a key component for avoiding potentially catastrophic effects of high blood sugar. Benfetiamine has been described or prescribed actually in Europe for decades to reduce diabetic nerve disease, kidney disease, eye disease. Some podiatrists actually recommend that. And actually it helps even the symptoms of neuropathy. Now diabetic neuropathy damage happens due to microvascular damage, right? In your limbs and the nerves ability to send messages becomes less. Now that's pathological, right? So blood vessel damage causes numbness and severe tingling at the end. And that leads to pain. And in the worst cases, amputation, unfortunately. Benfetamine prevents excessive blood sugar from damaging the cells by inhibiting metabolic pathways that causes that to begin with. Benfetamine can protect diabetics' nerves, kidneys, eyes, blood vessels, and heart, pretty much everything. Benfetamine has multiple benefits in reducing diabetic complications, my friend. It must be a must-take vitamin. Now, sugar MD neuropathy support contains a lot of benfetiamine, which we will discuss in this video as well. And then, like we'll discuss about this, we put everything that, that humanity knows about preventing neuropathy and diabetes complications in this neuropathy support supplement. Now, benfetiamine isn't like other diabetes medications, though, okay? So, diabetes treatments are often prescribed, and most current type 2 diabetic medications for neuropathy they actually doesn't do anything but numb your nerves. We have also diabetic drugs that are just lowering your blood sugar, which will help, but many folks will still have neuropathy, still have kidney disease, and there is no really a good full comprehensive treatment with natural defense like benfetiamine, alpha lipoic acid. Most doctors are not aware of those, and some of them are, but most are not. Now, benfetiamine has an unprecedented effective therapy for reducing diabetes complications. So what is exactly benfetiamine? It's a, it's a thiamine, right? It's just a chemical derivative. It helps convert lipids and carbs into energy-rich glucose, and it helps regulate the glucose metabolism. Now, why we want benfetiamine? Because it's fat-soluble. It is a lot easier to enter your cells than the thiamine, and it helps to prevent diabetes complications in a much effective, efficient manner. Benfetiamine has high bioavailability, again, because of that, and it makes a very effective diabetes treatment a great vitamin to prevent complications. Now, only benfotiamine decreases the intracellular, which is inside the cell, glucose levels. It changes the body's metabolic reaction to harmful sugar breakdown products, okay? Now, benfotiamine increases the development of an enzyme called transketolase that transforms potentially hazardous glucose breakdowns into some molecules, right? So several studies reveal that benfetiamine blocks the three key mechanisms that lead to something called age, advanced glycation end products. They are connected to diabetes-related neuropathy, retinopathy, and vascular disease, even the kidney disease. Now, we talked about this ages before in other videos, but age-related cardiovascular disease occurs in non-diabetic older people as well. So because aging is a risk factor for heart dysfunction by itself, even in non-diabetics. So because the ages, the advanced glycation end products will still accumulate and causes vascular damage and scar development and inflammation. 
Now this process is way faster in diabetics. So diabetics and non-diabetics can benefit from benfotiamine because it reduces the advanced glycation end products which makes you older and cause all the damage, right? So like we said, benfotiamine is a prescription in Europe. It's a supplement in the US. Take advantage of it, right? So researchers are still looking into benfotiamine and they're finding evidence that it actually helps prevent diabetes and high blood sugar problems to begin with. Benfotiamine protects your brain and nerve tissue. You know, neuropathy is painful, right? So you don't want to get there. So you want to do anything that can prevent the, the nerve damage. Traditional painkillers will not work once you get severe neuropathy, so it is better to prevent that. Polyneuropathy, for example, will affect most extremities and even your heart. Now, benfotiamine has been tried, has been studied multiple times, that it actually reduces these complications. Now, in a study, when diabetics took 300 milligrams of benfotiamine per day for three weeks, improved their nerve function scores. Now, pain decrease was noticeable as well. The authors say that, you know, they believe that the benfotiamine can actually be a prevention tool, but also a good treatment tool for diabetic neuropathy itself. Now, again, diabetes, you know, it's an oxidative stress. It's, it's a factor in many problems. So oxidative stress can damage your brain tissue, your nerve tissue, and diabetes is related to dementia and Alzheimer for a reason. Now, you know that the benfotiamine may actually protect your brain from diabetes-related damage and can prevent the dementia. Like they tried this on just two weeks for people with elevated blood sugars, they gave benfotiamine, and benfotiamine actually lowered the oxidative stress in diabetic people's brain, leading to, you know, having researchers conclude that actually that can reduce the risk of dementia. Now, benfotiamine protects the nerves and brain, and in addition to that, alpha-lipoic acid is very important for diabetics. Now, even diabetics, Lyme disease, shingles, thyroid disease, kidney failure, HIV, they all induce nerve injury, right? And they all do that with oxidative stress. In 2021, a clinical study found that people with unexplained discomfort, they had less severe pain when they took around 300 to 600 milligrams of alpha-lipoic acid compared to placebo. Why? Because again, alpha-lipoic acid has antioxidant benefit for diabetic neuropathy, a super serious condition as we discussed. 2012, a Dutch analysis found that daily alpha-lipoic acid for three weeks actually reduced neuropathy pain just like the benfotiamine did. So just 300 milligram of alpha-lipoic acid for two to four weeks are super safe and it helps your neuropathy. And in the long term, it's going to prevent complications of neuropathy for diabetes. When they studied this for people who have metabolic problems with or without type 2 diabetes, alpha-lipoic acid supplementation actually lowered fasting glucose, insulin concentration, insulin resistance, hemoglobin A1C levels, you name it. Now, what else? Well, B6 and B12 are very effective neuropathy treatments as well. As you know, SugarMD Neuropathy Support contains all of that, benfotiamine, alpha-lipoic acid, B6, B12, L-carnitine, and, and so forth, because B6 protects nerve endings. Uh, benfotiamine reduces pain and inflammation, and lack of B12 can actually cause neuropathy as well, especially if you're on metformin for a long term, right? So eggs, seafood, veggies, dairy, and poultry, they're all, they all contain vitamin B, so consume those. And if you mind gaining weight, you know, trying to get your vitamins, all these vitamins may be challenging because you may end up eating too much. Now, that's why vitamins help. The acetyl l carnitine supports healthy nerve development as well. So when you're trying to fix or prevent the nerve damage, it's good, but then you need to also nourish these nerves so that they can actually recover. Like I said, acetyl l carnitine supports the healthy nerve development and relieves nerve discomfort as well, and it boosts the energy as well. It relieves cancer-related tiredness and neuropathy even. It's available again as a standalone supplement or in our neuropathy support as well. It is also found in meat, fish, poultry, and dairy. Vitamin D is another one. Again, vitamin D has a great place uh, in treating individuals with neuropathy. So if you're vitamin D deficient, your neuropathy may not get better. Researchers looked at that, uh, showing that the vitamin D actually improves the axon regeneration, which is something that's on top of your nerves, the myelin sheet that has to be regenerated, and it helps for that. Most diabetics don't know that they are vitamin D deficient, unfortunately. Now, to acquire adequate vitamins, you gotta either eat salmon three to four times a week, uh, or you can sunbathe a couple hours a day, or you can just take vitamin D supplementation, again, as a standalone or in sugar neuropathy support. Vitamin D deficiency 
again, is not going to help you. You have to fix it. It is also an antioxidant as well. Well, there you have it. I think I talked about everything relatively quickly and relatively precisely. I hope now you understand what to do to prevent diabetes complications, including neuropathy. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.